Jamestown. The first permanent English settlement in the Americas almost completely disappeared from the map because colonists drank themselves to death? Well, maybe. In May of 1607, the first colonists landed in Jamestown. In 1608, more colonists arrived, just after a fire destroyed much of the settlement. They rebuilt, and things were finally running smoothly. Jamestownians had plenty to eat. Deer, turtles, sturgeon, and an abundance of shellfish populated the land. And local Powhatans provided the colony with corn in exchange for goods. But between 1609 and 1610, colonists experienced a devastating famine. Historians believe the famine, or starving time, happened for a lot of reasons. In 1609, new ships arrived with more mouths to feed. With some 300 hungry colonists, but less to go around, the Powhatans, who were also struggling to feed themselves, cut off trade. So settlers started to take food away from the Powhatans by force, leading the Powhatans to retaliate, laying siege to Jamestown. Confined to their fort, settlers no longer had access to the same food they used to. But they were able to catch small animals, and even resorted to eating their dogs, horses, and each other. So a lack of food may not be enough to explain why the population plummeted from around 300 settlers to a mere 60. But a lack of fresh water? Maybe. Jamestown well water was salty due to a nearby swamp and the James River seeping into the colony's aquifer. Water that's too salty causes dehydration, which can cause death. Human waste also got into the water supply, allowing disease to spread rapidly. And on top of the salty, contaminated water were high levels of arsenic. Some have theorized that the Spanish were spiking wells with the poison to keep England from colonizing the Americas. But according to scientists, it's more likely that the arsenic was naturally occurring. Either way, this toxic cocktail may be partially to blame for the devastating demise of Jamestown's population.